Once upon a time, in a peaceful village, there was a Tom, a cat, and Jerry, a mouse. They were living together in a small house with a very kind lady. It is very fun to play with you, Tom. I guess you can be a good friend forever like a family. Yeah, why not? We are so friendly. No one can break us into part. Tom and Jerry were very friendly, and they spent time like brothers. One day, the lady had to go to another village to go to the market, but she was very sick. Also, because she had to cross over the mountain, she had to ask for help. Oh, you lovely guys. I am too sick. I can't go to market. Can you guys go to next village and help me to buy two fish and a bag of rice from the market? Okay, no problem, lady. We can help you. Tom and Jerry both shouted. They went to the market to buy fish and a bag of rice without complaining. They crossed the river and they went over the mountain to get to the next village. Wow! We finally arrived in the next village! Let's go into the town so we can buy things for our lady! Tom and Jerry arrived in the market. There Here is the fish, fish market. market! Let's, Let's go, go there. there! Fish! Fish! Fresh fish! What do you want, guy? We, we want, want a fresh fish, fish for our lady. lady! Do you, do you have, have a fresh fish, fish for us? We need one. one! Of course! I will get one for you! And here it is! Thank, Thank you so much, sir! It's, it's a very, very, very fresh one! one. They bought the fish and moved to the rice shop. Rice! Rice! Good quality of rice is here! Here is good quality of rice! There is a rice shop! Let's go there! We need a bag of good quality of rice! Do you have one for us? Here is the one for you guys! Thank you, sir. It you looks look like very, very, very good, good quality. quality. They bought a bag of rice from the market. After they finished buying everything, they went back and walked back home. They crossed over the mountain again. On the top of the mountain, Jerry stopped and said to Tom, I am hungry. I will eat very little bit of lady's rice from here. <gasps> no way, Jerry. Don't do this. This is not your rice. It's stealing. It's no good. No, just once. Just a little bit. I am hungry. This is not a big deal anyway. Even though Tom stopped Jerry, Jerry just ate lady's rice. And they came down from mountain. Tom and Jerry arrived at home with fish and a bag of rice and got into their house. Lady, lady, we both very, very good quality of rice and fish for you. Oh, thank you guys. You guys are so sweet and helpful to me all the time. Suddenly, Jerry came up to the lady and started to say to her, My dear lady, it was such a tired journey. I had to carry this heavy bag from the market to all the way here. It was so tired. Oh, my sweet Jerry, you must be very tired. I really thank you. But Tom, since you're bigger than Jerry, you could have helped him, didn't you? Why are you so mean to Jerry? The lady just listened to what Jerry said and only liked Jerry. The lady praised Jerry but scolded Tom. Oh, my sweet lovely mouse, you're such a nice kid. Oh lady, it was my job to help you. I will always be happy to you. Since the lady just liked Jerry, he was very sad. One day, 
It was a dark night, and no one was there. When Jerry realized that the lady started to favor him, he started to come sneaking into the storage every night. She likes me. She's I am her favorite. I can do what I want to do, and I will eat rice from her. Because he never got caught, sometimes he brought his friends and ate rice together. Most of every night, he sneaky come down to the storage, stole, and ate lady's rice. One day, the lady went to the storage to get rice, and when she opened the door, <coughs> almost half of the rice was gone. Who did this terrible thing? I need to find who did this. The lady got into the house and called Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry, come here right now. What's wrong, lady? Is he? Is, is, is there, there any, any problem? problem? Someone stole rice in the storage. Did you see someone around the storage at night few days ago? Or anyone doing suspicious around the storage? I need to find who did this terrible thing to me. My dear lady, I know you are so angry, and I think I know. Who did this to you? I saw someone getting into the street, and it looked like Tom. Why would I do this? It's not me. So, it was you who was stealing rice from me? Tom, what is wrong with you? I believed you. No, it's not me. This lady just like Jerry, she didn't believe Tom. Because of Jerry's lie, he lost trust from the lady. I didn't steal rice. He was crying. I, I can't just sit here and cry. I will have God for him. Tom started to pray to God. God, you know that I am honest. God, you know that I didn't steal rice from her and Jerry did. Please give me the chance to prove that I am honest. Please give me the chance to recover a horror like before. It was Jerry's life and please help me. Tom prayed to God desperately with all his sincere heart, and suddenly the bright light appeared and shined the room. It was an angel from the heaven. Tom, I'm an angel from heaven. God heard your desperate prayer and sent me to bring you. I will take you to heaven so you can speak to God. brought Tom up to the heaven. My dear child, what is wrong? I want you to tell me what's in your heart. I was struggling, God. I thought Jerry is such a nice friend, but he lied to me, lied to everyone else and made fun of me. I waited for him to stop doing bad things, but he didn't show even a bit of change. Everything God, don't you? I'm innocent, you know that. I know Tom. Sweet Jerry misbehaved. I will make Jerry to live in darkness all the time. Tom, I will give you sharp God to punish him until he fixes his misbehavior and mistakes. Tom, as a cat, you will rain mice and they will have to hide from you. Thank you God! Thank you for giving me this opportunity! Thank you God! Thank you! Tom came down from the heaven and started to chase Jerry with sharp claw until Jerry realized what he had done. From that day, Cats became a chaser and mice became fugitives. That is why cats and mice are the enemy until now.